Hey, hey, what's going on? What's going on? Another day, another dollar. What's up with Jay for Life TV? JP hollering at you once again. Okay, got a good one here. Um, pull this one from No Jumper. Uh, dude on here, you know, he has some crazy things every once in a while. So most of the time, the, uh, the audience he has, I don't, you know, I don't pay much attention to. Um, it's just not my thing. Sometimes yeah, they have some raunchy girls on there and, eh, you know, just not to me, it's not worth putting on anything. It's a bunch of girls saying a bunch of raunchy, nasty shit. So, but on here, we happen to have my man Sharp, smooth brother, all about the game and drop a little knowledge on the young chick. Was it Blue Jasmine? At, uh, you have to make sure I got her name right. And she's talking game. And what she's she's saying, you know how some women think they know what they're talking about and they so confident in what they're saying, they're feeling so good about it, then they come to find out, damn, you ain't saying nothing. And the thing she talks about, you know, a girl should be striving for is a cell phone. Uh, what was it? A cell phone, apartment, and a car. That's it. Cell phone, apartment, and a car. So, I'm going to let this roll and uh, let my man jump into this and get up on her. And let's, uh, and let's spin this thing. Doing a podcast on the No Jumper platform. And I feel like the one thing that we've yet to see from Sharp that probably the world wants to see is him communicating with a woman. I thought what better woman to start with than Blue Jasmine? I think that's pretty dope. You I think that's gonna be live. You might rob my chain. <laughs> you ain't, no, that ain't what we gonna do, baby. See, you fucking up already. <laughs> I'm interested in so many already. ways. I want to know what you want to know about her. I want to know what she might want to know from you. So, uh, yeah, I guess let's uh, let's break. Okay, I'm about to pop it off. How long you been in the game, baby girl? What game? The game. Don't play. What yeah, there we did y'all notice that shit she just did with her tongue? It's like, what the crap was that? That's, uh, I don't know. No, don't, don't, I mean, no, I mean, don't do it. Don't do it. Just, just say it. How many I years think, you done been fucking I with this shit for I, real? I think I didn't know that I, w I was already like gaming niggas. You know, I'm Spanish. So we, the, all mothers teach us from young, um, not to game niggas, but you know what to do and what not to do and how to move correctly when it come to men. And I think like since 13, I've been getting stuff from men that found me attractive and I knew I didn't like them. And I what your mama, what your, what your mama and daddy think about that shit? About I'm glad he hit that because Pay attention to what she says. Now, she's trying to act like her parents don't know, but you 13 getting shit from grown men and you out here teaching girls to do this shit. So this is what the modern women out here doing right now when they get in the fucking bag. They telling 13 and 15 year old girls to go fuck with these old dudes to get cell phones and shit like that. About what? About you getting shit from grown men, getting phones and shit like that. I don't know if they, yeah, no. They, they never didn't. questioned that shit about they who's didn't. paying the phone bill. They never raised no type of suspicion to nothing. I mean, the first time that I got a phone from someone, I think I was like 15. That's when the UPS guy asked me for my number. He used to deliver packages to my grandma's house. Grown ass nigga. On. Yeah, he was grown. I said I didn't have a phone. I said that was just my response. I didn't say that knowing that he was gonna get me a phone. I was just like, I don't got a number because I don't got a phone. But I really did have a cell phone, but I wasn't gonna give him my number. And he came the next time and he delivered me a phone and he paid for the phone for like six months. But I rarely used that phone because I already had a phone. But when my you told your, but when you told your mama and daddy, because I'm sure they saw you with two phones. No, nah, I didn't. They, they, they it never came up. It never came up. They never, no. they never said nothing about you. Oh well, shit. You know, my daughter got two cell phones. They never you just heard a different something? ring on another phone that they know they didn't. Is this how you familiar? get girls in the game? You, know you are from a phone. You, because my mother, I already had a phone. I already had a phone. Did so you? the only thing I told him that I didn't have a phone because I didn't want to give him my but number. But see, you ain't say that though. You act like you know you was coming up. You know you didn't. Uh, 
You didn't have to, oh shit, you know, you was young, you was just moving, you was cute, you know, you was popping, you was popular, whatever you want to call it. But this man offered you a cell phone, this grown ass man. So you've been doing this shit for a long, you've been, you, you obviously can say that you've been kind of dibble dabbling with it since you was a little kid, right? Since you right. was young. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what did your mother, because I know you was talking to your mama and daddy, you was at home with your mama and daddy. Your daddy had two crack houses. I, I didn't live with my father at that point. He had and two, but you but you knew about him. You knew he had two crack houses. What about it? I'm gonna say this because you say you came up fucked up, right? Mm -hmm. You say it was fuck. It was kind of fucked up how you came up. Shit was slow rolling. Okay, well I don't know not one motherfucker. I'm being for real with you. Mm -hmm. I don't know not one motherfucker mm -hmm. that was in the game in the dope game, especially back in the day that their kids was hurting. Mm -hmm. I don't know that. I ain't never saw that shit. Them niggas was flyer than us. If your, your daddy wasn't, if your well, daddy was selling dope. So now that shit's true. So when we were coming up, um, anyone who dad was big time, they had it. They had the money. They can always go to him. He'd drop them off some money. Hell, he'd give them enough money for all of us. They had the shoes. They had the clothes. They weren't hurting. So I don't know. Like I said, her dad had two crack houses. And she talking about they didn't have anything. Nah. The only reason he was in the foster home because of what he was doing. But it wasn't because y'all didn't have anything. So she can back up off that. He he know better. Hell, I know better. So I don't know what she talking about. By the time I, I don't know if you watched the whole interview, but I also. Oh, I, I up, caught a kick. I caught yeah, a twist yeah. to it. I heard so what I was the, supposed to. So by the time I was like 13, I was already in, I was in foster care. So I was not living with neither of my parents. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, yeah, they wasn't around. I was doing whatever I wanted. Now you know what they was doing. Who was doing? Your parents. What you mean? How you know what your daddy and them was doing if you wasn't around them? I know what my father went to jail for. Yeah, That's you know what, what he went, went to jail you, for. Yeah, no, you but say by the time he owned I was 13, two. He was already out. That yeah, was when you, I was little. Yeah, but he was start. You was thirteen already when he was when he came out. I, yeah, I was grown already. You was already grown. Okay, so you I mean, said 13, like 13 ain't grown. 13 ain't grown, baby. That still got teen in it. Anything with teen in it, I don't even like to play with. So that's why I was asking you. I was like, okay, you, well, you was dealing with these older men, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, these older niggas or whatever you want to you know, you know, call them. Because, see, to me, I call them tricks. Mm -hmm. So I don't really, I don't like classifying them as niggas. I hate when you be saying that shit. Like, oh, I'm, I want to break a nigga, break a nigga, break a nigga. Shut, shut that shit down, I'm for New real. York, so that's no, granted, like granted. Slang. But I'm going to be real with you. I'm black. So when I hear a motherfucker just say, you know what I'm saying, I want to break a nigga, break a nigga, I'll be like, well, what the fuck that shit's supposed to mean? You know, break a nigga. They've been breaking us already for 400 years. You give her an N word pass? Too personal. Huh? You give her an N word pass? I, I, I don't want to, but I mean, shit, if she been saying, hey, that's cool, I don't want to because, you know, I've always taught even chicks that come around me, man, hey, clean that shit up and get ladylike. Like, that ain't how ladies talk. And you say it like that. That, clean that, that vocabulary, shit up. That's how you clean, clean that shit up. Yes. I'm cleaning no shit up for Clean it up. They, they should. You need to clean okay. that shit up because it's sloppy. Because you're used to dealing with simps. He's an alpha male out here. That, you, shit, you, that shit be sloppy. And see, I, I told, uh, well, I dated a female. Before I got married, this female, she had a real like mouth like that. And nigga, MFs, MFs a lot. And and I told her she had to clean that shit up. And she looking at me all crazy like, oh, you trying to be boo? I said, nah. It's just, that shit is not ladylike, man. No woman walks around talking like that. I was like, who have a fucking mouth like that? You know? Like, that's just not how it rolls. So, <laughs> he's right. You got to clean that shit up. You can't be right here, nigga this, nigga that, motherfucker, this, this, this. That's that masculine energy you know, we always talking about, you know, yeah, simps can, they love that. They don't care. But when you start going up the chain, them alphas, they don't want to hear that from their one. I mean, they just don't. So clean that shit up, ladies. We don't want to hear it. I feel Man. like you've never been with a guy with this kind of delivery, this bravado. That's not true. No. No. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I mean, I've. If you did, you ain't last long. Not talking like that. I'm just saying, you ain't last long. You couldn't have. I don't know what that Not talking know. like that. I see? Don't know what that means. You, yeah, see, I like that, though, because you'll play that shit down and still come up and get into the mixture. I like that shit. See, she play it down. She know when to humble that shit and keep it moving. She know when to turn the switch on and off. She ain't crazy. That's all I like about it. She ain't crazy. She know. <laughs> all right. She backed up out of that conversation because she knows dudes with real money is not hanging out with chicks like that. Yeah, they'll hit it and keep her up in the back room somewhere, but they're not taking her out nowhere because she might open her damn mouth and start talking around his people. 
No, nah, far from. No, nah, far from. I just hear some of the shit that she was kicking. And I'm going to tell you this, baby, for uh -huh. real, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. I believe that, you know, what you do, hey, that shit ain't even no hoeing to me, man. You know, you tried to claim that shit, you know, city girls and all that shit, you know. Them bitches was modern day hoes. Them was some real hoes getting to some real bread, man. And even though they going to fuck up a lot of childhoods because, you know what, they done brainwashed a lot of bitches. To sit there and believe that, okay, <laughs> this is what you do. You go break a nigga here. You go do this, do that. No. See, you have to understand something. The type of niggas that you probably deal with that you like to break, see, they money going to run out. Go get what you know. a CEO. I mean, listen. Go ahead. Go get what I you mean, a CEO or something. You ain't talk about going and get with none of them type of people. All you keep trying to talk about is breaking niggas. The person that was paying my bills, he was a businessman. He owned several spaces in Manhattan and City. Yeah. Like, yeah. a CEO of what? Yeah. I mean. Now, check out what she said. Was. So that means he's not doing the shit now. So what he's trying to say, get with someone that's going to be longevity. Not kick it with somebody for now. You get a little bit here, get a little bit there. He can sign your six month lease, three to six month lease. And cancel and he can cancel any time. So you sitting up in there thinking you chilling. He didn't cancel the fucking lease. So that's not even a good game plan to even stick around. I, I feel like that's, that's, that's who you're getting you whips and apartments out of, yeah, right? It's like the older. CEOs, you're you're the one not that's trying to get an apartment, apartment out of some like dope boy that's like hanging no. out in the corner, right? Dope boys is still in the club. But fuck and the Sam apartments. Still in the club, spending ten bands, five fuck bands, three bands. Those are the kind of guys you hang out with because you you just like them, right? What you mean? Like the scammers and shit. Like you just kind of feel their vibe. No, no. Oh, okay. I don't like them type of guys. No, okay. See, I I think like the principal, yeah, right. Conflict between you guys is that. Blue Jasmine holds herself to be a part of a certain level of tricking and hoeing. She doesn't consider herself to be, you know, a surface level, like low level. That's the chick. fuck. No, it's Whereas not about being a low level chick. All. You've seen it all. Man, come on, man. Up, down, round, and round. Uptown, downtown, all around. He knows the streetwalkers. It's, it's different. A bitch that fuck for money, I think it's different than a bitch that, you know, talk for money. I bet that he might have uh, something to say about How that. How you talk for money when you said you let him eat your pussy out five times first? On a guy they gotta, that they I gotta like, eat a your man pussy. that I like. We, a man we, that you like, but you're still trying to break him. Breaking him is breaking him. Breaking, breaking him is break? breaking him. What there's no, break? it's not, there's no feelings involved in that. Breaking him, you want the money from the nigga? It's you want the money from the nigga? I think if I'm letting someone touch me sexually, I like them. You get it? When it's you like, said I really that, like but you them. said he got to eat your pussy at least five times. I, that was the game to the girls. I was saying, don't give it up. You know, don't like, give don't, the wrong give game. don't give up the pussy. Don't give up the That's wrong, not game. wrong game. My less, point is that don't give up the pussy. If you like more. a nigga and you want that nigga to like to catch that nigga, don't give up the We're pussy. We talking about getting bread right now. And to we're me, talking about both. getting bread. Why we're talking about getting bread that don't got because that shit's intertwining. You want the feelings to come with the bread, and that shit intertwines too much. If you're gonna Check out what she's saying. That, that's her requirements. She, she's out telling young girls, if, um, if you want to get it from the dudes, don't let him hit it, but let him eat it. Five times. Now, after five times, then he's good. So that's what she's saying. I don't know what dudes stick around and do that eat girl five times and she hadn't still gave him anything and you was just popping out money i mean like i said you like messing with little simps you're not messing with alphas because i don't know any dudes that would let a woman keep coming back in his house in his house and getting butt ass naked and don't have sex but you get to have oral sex with her and she come back for the next four times and the same shit happens so y'all comment to me on what dude has done that. If you ladies have somebody that's done that, please let me know. Because I need to find who this simp is and just, you know, have my cord and pop him in his damn head. But that's the dumbest shit I ever heard, man. And he, you know, he caught it. He's, he's no, that's some bullshit. You're giving out the wrong game. Be about your business. Be about your business. See, we can sit there and talk about. I mean, oh, I can you, pick and choose. We can sit there and I'm talk about, about my business with. And we can who sit I'm there not. and talk about, you know, the CEOs that you know then gave you, you know, some cars and a little bit of money. But did the man pass you off a of business? That's where you win. Nah, but I learned that. I learned you how to win. be a Get the business no, from being around these people. It, get it passed to you. It's not what you know. It's who you know, right, Adam? Right, it's so not man, what you know, it's who you know. It's Get both. that shit past the fuck off on you. If your game it's is mostly strong, who you know. less is more. It's true. Getting your pussy eight, five times, you don't know where the fuck that man's mouth bent. What? C come on, you put a but body condom saying, on? You say. See, that's what I'm talking about. 
You let a nasty ass dude get all up between your legs. You're talking about you're not letting him get your sex. You're not having sex. That's it's called oral sex, dummy. He's touching your most private part with his nasty ass tongue. If he would do that to you, how many other women he has done that to? There are diseases in the mouth. Like you slow, man. Like, you put a body kind of on. You saying to do that? like? You saying like? <laughs> Come on, you ain't do that. What you saying make no sense? I'm saying Cut if a, if a woman want to catch a man, like if I like this guy, you start talking about getting your pussy ate five times. Yeah, before, man, from a man. before you fuck, before you I feel even like before fuck, you fuck a nigga, you, let you him eat your pussy that. a couple times. You, you might get a tummy ache. That's you a lot ain't of pussy. doing all that. You telling me right now if you got with an NFL player? NFL player uh -huh. come and grab. Can I Yo, let me let me speak? Mm -hmm. NFL player comes to you, right? Mm -hmm. He tell you, you know, you end up liking him, like you say. You know his bag is up, whatever the case may be. And you tell him to eat your pussy a couple times. You think that man just gonna sit there? Him being in the position that he's mm -hmm. in, I'm not trying to call Thank you a regular it. schmegular, it's but okay. you think that, but you think that he ain't gonna he ain't gonna sit there and balls to the walls, your motherfucking ass. Guess what? You got guess life what? fucked up. I was with. I talked to an NFL player before. You got life fucked up. And I could call my friend right now without even. Up, what's going shit, on? Didn't let him fuck. Ate my pussy. Gave me his credit card. I went shopping with my friends. With my friend. Yeah. I didn't fuck. I yeah. told him no. I wasn't fucking. What do you, you think? Of my you, pussy you told him no. Me. You wasn't fucking. Assuming that that's true, what do you think of that kind of guy? And what do you make of the situation? Fact. That type of motherfucker to me right there, love one. To be honest with you, ninety million dollar hey, contract. He was just trying you. He's a professional. Mm -hmm. Just as much as there's professional hoes, there's professional tricks. Okay. You gotta Whatever understand that game, baby. You just said they that know I how to play it. No, but they know how to play it. That was candy money. I did that already. For him to turn around, listen to me. He gave you that, but just the other day, he probably sat there and gave a bitch a half a million. The other bitch. And she really wasn't around for nothing. And see, and that's what he's trying to tell her. He gave you a card with a fucking limit on it. He didn't give you the, the real card. He probably had these cards like he used on these chicks. That's what he always do. Go, right, go spend about 5G, 3 or 4, 5Gs on this. That's nothing to these fucking millionaires. That's not even that interest off that shit. Yeah, go ahead, man. Use that shit. And she hyped up. And we didn't even do it. He gave his credit card. She's like so caught up on that bullshit. And he's trying to tell her, if you done played your game right or play it right, you wouldn't have to even do all that. He would give you more. He'd give you everything. But she can't get seem to understand that. He was just making a I mad mean, move with you. What, but you don't glorify that. Don't no, get the bag for real when you're around him. It ain't about getting your little pussy, your little TT bone ate at. It's not about that. It's not about getting your little TT bone ate on, man. You gotta show her, man. Less is more. That's my point. Less is more. Less no, is more. no, you talk. That's no, my no, point. No, but it's is like it, if it? you fucking with a nigga that make ninety million dollars, or let's just even say a regular or whatever. So you think he wasn't giving more. you no candy money by doing that? No, I'm sure. You know, you should have knew I, that. So like you should have threw that shit That's already to, to the side. That's left field. That'll be sitting for later. That's minute. You got to be looking for the bigger bag. Mm hmm. The bigger bag so, dealing with these motherfuckers, man. For so real. These are me? professionals. So how do, how I'm just trying to tell you, bag? listen, you baby, conduct yourself, of course. Conduct yourself more ladylike through it. Get your vocabulary up. Get your vocabulary up some. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you this. Professional tricks, they ain't going to like how you talking. We already, I, let, let, me, let me speak, and I hate even having to give this game up, but I'm going to give it up for free. We got color to our skin. They already looking, no offense to you, they already looking to downplay us. So our vocabulary has to be on a bigger mindset. We can't nigga, nigga, nigga them to death. Oh, no. Think about how many white, listen to me, think about how many white professional men would have wanted to just even come and just even involve themselves with you from this. But when you opened your mouth, you fucked off that bag. Think about it. I don't know. If you really think, of, I know. Me. And there it is. There it is. She got the look, but as soon as she opened her mouth, like he said, that hood shit come out. And she think that's what she needs to do with these rich men. No, because they're not going to take you around their important people talking like that. And she just can't get it. And all these women out here saying they want this dude, they want this dude, they want this high power. But the shit that you say, your vocabulary is effed up. I mean, I don't even like that shit. I don't like women that has that, I call potty mouth. I, I can't stand it. And I tell a female in a heartbeat, hey, you need to really stop talking like that. Like, no dude is going to feel you like that. Why well, I talk where I want to talk. If he like me, I, 
He better take me for who I am and do all this. I said, no, he don't. He will pass you up and go to someone else. Like I said, they might stick around and hit it, <clears throat> but they're not spending no real time with you and doing anything. Not no guy that got something going on. Now, one of these busters out here, these simp ass dudes who ain't used to dating a pretty girl. Oh, they'll give you the fucking world, but then they money run out, though. So you're not getting the big dogs. Like, come on, clean this shit up. Trust me, I'm gonna keep I know. Real. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Telling y'all that I come up here and game niggas for bread fucks up the bag. Because nobody want to fuck with a bitch that's gaming niggas for bread. Because yeah, you're you gaming, told, you, bitch. You, like, did you, a all, you did an all-tell story on how you would... If you did it, you reminded me of OJ. Like when he said he wrote that book, if I did it, this is how I got away with it. She did it on like, like five it, different podcasts in right? like a two-week period, you, too. Exactly. <laughs> you gave them... You, listen, that ain't... But listen, like I said, them, even to them city girls, them was, modern, them was modernized hoes. And with them... You you know, I think even they gonna look back. Cause I heard you. You know, you kept bringing them up. You know, so I want you to know, like I knew, I knew of them a couple of them bitches, and like they was really at the bag. They wasn't talking about it like how you talking about it. See, they just sell that kind of music. Let me speak. They just sell that kind of music. That's not really what they was on. They just knew that they was gonna poison this shit though, and it's gonna fuck up a lot of lives. When they get older, they gonna see what they done created. But that's like a bunch of little, hey, a bunch of, hey, a, a bunch of little dick thief mongrels. But that don't even, hey, listen to me, that's just looking, that's just looking to just get by. You told everybody, you never told not one person how to go get a business from that shit, mm -hmm. how to really go and make some real net worth from this shit. You told them how to get a cell phone and a car. Mm -hmm. A cell phone in a car, a sweetie. A cell phone in a car, an apartment. That's not, a listen lifestyle. to me. Put that shit to the side. There's a. How the freak is that a lifestyle? If the guy gave you a car, he could lease the car, which means that's going to go up. Cell phone, hell, he could turn that off. A cell phone is nothing, $1,000? And you bragging about a cell phone? Get your little bullshit car, put you in an apartment for three, six months, and the lease is up. So now you got to find somebody else to put this shit up. You're talking about a lifestyle. This is not a lifestyle. That's corny. Goofy as hell, man. Picture I mean, I, have, life. I, I do run, I'm business minded, you know what I mean? Because I've been around these men and so I've, I've had that too. But it depends on who I'm around on, based on like how I talk, you know? Like if I'm around, a, of course I'm going to switch it up. Like if I'm around a CEO, I'm not going to say nigga. Like, no. You I'm never, a CEO. You He's never, you can never turn. <laughs> say whatever you want. Listen to me. You never turn that lady like movement off. I don't give a fuck what's going on. You want to do what you want to do behind closed doors? You do that shit. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Be real. And there it is. You don't turn it on and turn it off. You're going to be a feminine, fit female or not. There's no I do it now and I do it, turn it on and turn it off shit. It doesn't work like that because then you're going to slip up and all that masculine man energy going to come out and dude going to be sitting there looking at you and listening to this shit. And then you're going to try to pipe it out. Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> Let me get back to my ladylike ways. Just to even say that is a clown is by itself. Like I said, you goofy as hell. It just don't make sense, man. You can't switch on being feminine and and being just not you just can't do it so all you went with that masculine energy think y'all can switch it on and off you go on shows talking with all that masculine energy now you realize oh shit maybe i shouldn't have no it's bullshit but be, be, be who you, you are because shit, granted, see, only but there's a certain way to speak see, nah, but, yes, that shit only ghetto, listen, is, yes, granted but that see, shit only goes so far we now she's trying to sell that ghetto shit be who you are listen, and right. if it's for you it's for you I was, talking about, I was talking about the Donald Sterling scandal earlier right mm -hmm. and how that little bitch she has certain instructions to where he done put her in houses I'm talking about big boy shit big boy allowances this man owned the Clippers I don't mm -hmm. know if you remember the story okay man owned the Clippers Okay, he had a little, you know what I'm saying? Little tight little thing. You know, didn't even know the color, story. Everybody knew that story. You know what I'm saying? He was fucking with white man, older white man. Mm -hmm. Gave her everything in the world. All he told her was just don't, and he knew she was fucking with other, other niggas. Mm -hmm. He knows. He don't want to say it. He told her not to put, <laughs> but he told her not to post photos with no. black guys. He found that embarrassing, right? Wasn't that the main not, thing? No, no, it wasn't just that. It was further than that. She brought the nigga to the game. 
She brought the nigga to the game. And mind you, you know, of course she's going to have some good seats. All of his colleagues are seeing this shit. You think he don't? And see, and I had to end it right here. I'm about to have a part two and three maybe to this thing because it's kind of long. What he's explaining is, you know, and it's going to run into the next part, how the girl messed up a great deal that she had with this billionaire, damn near billionaire, if not one. Only thing is not embarrass him and what she do. She know what she was in the game doing. She know she messed with this 80-year-old, 80 80-something-year-old 80 man. And she like 25. And he's married. You know what, you know what the deal was. But when you brought this certain dude, he didn't want you parading around with black dudes. What did you go do? Get with one, parade around in front of all his friends, taking pictures and posting it and embarrassed him. And he shut it down. I mean, it ended up costing him. He probably didn't lose much. You know, they just changed some titles out, made it look like he's gone. But that man's still around. But, you know, it was a big little scandal and all this and that. But she caused all that, which took her out. Now, nobody's going to want to mess with her. So now she's back to zero because he probably pulled everything back from her. So let's get to part two of this. I can't wait. Sharp and Blue Jasmine, uh, part two coming up. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. I forgot to say it at the beginning. It jumped off so quick. Um, hit the notification bell so you can get the next one. And uh, what's up with Jay? JP Hall, at you. For Life TV. And I am out of here. Until next time, part two. See ya.